everyone, my name is Kaikun6 and I'm here to do a crafting video for you guys and this is going to be um, Halloween related. I have a whole bunch of mess right in front of me. I was just trying to pull out some paints and some other stuff because I wanted to show you guys what I have been working on for like maybe a week and a half or maybe two weeks, I'm not sure. It's been a while but I will show those type of uh, crafts in the end but I did wanted to show you guys like what are we going to be working on and it will be this which is like that tear tray that i told you guys about that i have seen on facebook that came from like either instagram or um tiktok like maybe like a few months ago or something by then but then i discovered it like in the end of september so i was just like i want to like work on this and um and what we're going to be using for the tear tray are like these little drink holders or drink uh containers this one's like a jack-o'-lantern and this one's like you know a skull uh, my husband picked them out because he thought that just having two of the same thing would be kind of boring and then maybe it'll add some sort of height to uh each of the tiered section and i thought that'd be really fine and i got three bowls here one is like black one orange and one purple and each one has like two spiders on, on either side so what I am going to do is like I want the spider to show like right in front, I guess. I don't know. I was just thinking like how should I do it? How I'm going to do it? And then that's what I came up with. But if you want to know like the tags for the baskets, like I have them right here. I had to cut them off off camera for a little bit because I just wanted to get uh, into it. But that's what they all look like. Like this. And then here are the barcodes for each of them. There you go. There you go. They kind of look similar to each other. They probably are the same thing. And then there's the barcode for the uh, jack-o'-lantern drink. And then this is the one for the skull. I'm trying to see like how I'm going to present it. There you go. So then let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do is like try to decide what color should be on top or which one's going to be the top, the middle, and the bottom. And the only thing I can think of is... Um, I want to put probably the orange one in the middle, I think, and probably like this will be fine unless, let me go see if like the black one is a lot better, maybe. I don't know, I'm trying to like picture it in my brain, but like, what do you guys think? I think I like this one a lot more because I like the black to show more, and so that's what I'm going to do. So, just to start off with, let's go get like this uh, purple bowl, and um trying to decide which one should I use like should I use the jack-o'-lantern first or the skull but I think I want to use the skull first for like added height and I'm just gonna leave it like this probably like this I think that'd be perfect right so that way the spider can be showing so um I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna glue it and I have like my trusty glue gun right here I don't know if you can see it or not it's like it's stuck on everything like I have my little rolly cart here because I'm gonna be putting some stuff on there too so okay I guess it don't want to show itself but there you go I had to go pull my little pumpkin tree that's like right next to me so um but yeah like I was telling you guys before I'm gonna like tell you guys something like while I'm recording this and everything but um hopefully it don't burn I didn't think about like maybe the plastic will melt with this but we'll see uh but yeah um let's see yeah what do you guys think probably enough glue <laughs> uh, like i wish it was like a live stream so that way you guys can actually answer questions for me but like i think that's enough glue and i know there's gonna be some seepage or something like that because of the fact that um it's not gonna be that good looking, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, actually, no, <laughs> it doesn't look that good. <laughs> oh no, um, I'm gonna go see how I'm gonna gonna fix this. I'm so sorry, you guys. Sometimes it don't come out the way that I want to, especially when I'm trying to pre-record videos. And on top of that, I'm ran out of glue for my glue uh, for my glue gun, so I'm gonna have to go insert another one. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, what I was saying was I have been working on some craft stuff like crazy. Like, I don't know if I should, like, say anything about it or 
something but like i've been working for a lot of like fall slash uh, thanksgiving type of crafts because of the fact that fall like fall is finally here like it really is because um like the, the house started getting cold like i am really really cold that's why i'm wearing like my my pajamas and hopefully it'll be good and i think i burnt my finger yes i did uh, but when you're doing this craft make sure you have something to protect your little fingers or have some really thick gloves i don't have anything like that all i have is finger protectors in case i have to like stick to something to it but we will see uh if i can find those again because i have been cleaning like crazy and i even found some other stuff that i wanted to show you guys hopefully if i am able to but i have like a bunch of glue strings um i think that'd be perfect enough what do you guys think right um yeah like the little spider is showing and little school is showing and i made it sure if i could be somewhat in the center because i do like some space in the back so that way it can hold more items so that way it kind of look like a lot of things are pushed to the front so hopefully but yeah like i was saying um i have been working on some crafts and and i have been like since i have been cleaning here i have been like look like finding a lot of stuff that i even forgot i even bought like maybe two or three years ago like way before maybe covid started or something so i was like you know what i gotta work on this and hopefully i will and yeah we were just oh my goodness like it was just like so much cleaning i had to do i even forgot i had a bunch of craft stuff and i was like thinking like should i donate them should i just like start making some stuff with it or what but um but it was like a lot of money i spent for for those craft items so who knows but yeah um now i'm gonna go use this and i was trying to see if well, it would be better with or without the lid and i don't know i've seen that lady like took off the lid i think but i think i'm gonna leave it on and see what it looks like but but yeah so i've been working on a lot of craft stuff and i'm hopefully i'll be able to show all of that sometime soon because of the fact that i want to um get it out of the way and then all that because i have like my halloween tote like on my porch area you guys i really do like i'm really bad at organizing some stuff sometimes and um and here i thought like maybe it'd be better if like i start working on um like fall crafts thanksgiving crafts and then maybe into christmas even though i'm not sure if i have anything christmas related in this box that's like right next to me that's on the floor because of the fact that um i was i don't know uh because i was like oh well it was never too early to do christmas especially if you're in the middle of like another holiday type of craft and i don't know i was like thinking what should i do and so i've been looking through all of my stuff and i'm like oh my goodness there was like a lot of crafts that i haven't done like a couple years back so hopefully i'll be able to do it on here even if the holiday was over so we'll see maybe you'll be ready for uh next year's like um you know kind of like holiday decor type of thing but who knows but yeah i was trying to make sure like actually got stuck to each other and they are i really like this glue so there you go now the final thing what i am going to do is glue this jack-o-lantern onto this orange basket and so far it's been really easy i'm kind of glad because i have been wondering how how this is going to come out and if it's going to be any good any bad but so far i like i like it so far and i was just wondering like should i do another tear tray type of thing for um my kitchen or something because we got rid of a lot of tear tray stuff especially for um my kitchen because of the fact that it has been so difficult to clean my house like i feel like i haven't done much i've been lazy or i i just didn't have the time for it so i put some glue on the bottom of this jack-o-lantern and i'm gonna go put it right here in the center hopefully it stays really well and it will i'll probably have to hold it for a second because uh, i did got burnt earlier so um but yeah what i wanted to like what I do was like in my kitchen, I wanted to like start uh, thinking about decorating more of my kitchen. We were thinking about like, what should we do for, for a spice rack? And I don't know what else, like I've been thinking about it. I have uh, like little small things that could probably hold like spices, but then 
we came up with an idea of s hooks and metal baskets and then with a curtain rod in the kitchen like i don't know it's just crazy like probably once i get everything that done maybe it will be like pretty good hopefully it will come out good and hopefully it will uh not be a problem for uh, at least for me and my husband but mainly for me since like i cook often in the kitchen but yeah it's coming out really good you guys what do you guys think i don't know i really like it so far um yeah i really like it so far i really like the detail with the spiders in the front so now we're going to be gluing the last thing on there which is the black basket and i think i'm going to yeah i'm gonna put the glue on top of the jack-o-lantern drink thing but yeah so i've been i've been cleaning up i've been doing a lot of stuff hopefully things will work really well because it has been hectic it really has like i thought maybe i'll be done with the cleaning by now but i really am not and all i wanted to do was you know hopefully work on some other stuff while i'm working on other uh craft stuff and times just seem to go away for me like i was like thinking oh i'm just gonna enjoy this holiday or at least this month so much since i am a lover of halloween and then all of a sudden i'm like halloween is about to end in a couple weeks like that's ridiculous i need to work on other craft stuff and hopefully it comes out really good and then because like i worked on some jack-o-lantern stuff and i don't know what else but i couldn't get to it um this week and so i was like you know what forget it i'm just gonna work on something else and then so i thought okay well fall is coming around the corner right and so i'm gonna be doing that so i'd rather do some fall crafts or thanksgiving crafts see how it goes and then if i don't get those done on time maybe christmas but who knows but like i'll probably be doing some like weird crafts in the middle of like probably uh fall or uh springtime where it's meant to be for like christmas or something i don't know i'm trying to like empty out some space here like it is ridiculous like i have these wreath forms and i've already made like a pumpkin i don't know if you guys can see it above me but like my husband asked for a couple and then all of a sudden he's just changed his mind and i'm like okay what am i gonna do with these pumpkin wreaths and the only thing i can think of is like probably make like some sort of lantern out of it or uh make an outdoor decor of it just put some greenery on it and stuff like that i don't know but i'm hoping it comes out really good and we're finally done <laughs> like this would have been done probably in like easily one or two minutes if i wasn't rambling but i love how it came out and it's gonna be perfect for my centerpiece of a table like right now i have like some something on my table i am not sure what it is but i felt like maybe this would be perfect because i could put like halloween candy and snacks or something like that related to that so i'm gonna be putting this on the side and hopefully i it doesn't fall on me but i, I might put it on the floor but uh because i have no more room up up on my little crafting table so anyway but yeah that's it um that's the most easiest craft i have done in a very long time the rest of the stuff was pretty easy too but i um i have been working on painting especially for ceramics and for wooden stuff so that's what i'm going to show you guys now um but yeah i'll show you like these things first since they are halloween related but i painted this and it's like it says happy halloween and it's like the bats in there it's like a wooden cutout type of thing and um i painted the the border black like it was kind of like a messy job right here in the back as you can see but i felt like it looked really good has a black border and then the insides was green right here on top green in the bottom and then purple on the sides and um orange of course in the middle i thought that would like actually stood out a lot and it did and so this has been like since i had this done for a while now uh i have also uh been working on other signs and stuff like that just to hang up on my walls of my dining room area so i just thought this would be really nice and hopefully i can find the paints <laughs> yeah i did okay i was going to show you guys the paints that i have been working on with these and this one is like from target it's a black acrylic paint so two ounces it's a little bit dirty since i've been using it a lot and then I think I ran out of the orange version for this one because I don't have it with me no more. But I did use this one, which is Delta Creative Ceram Coat Pumpkin color. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever shown this before. But like this is the one that I used for the remainder of the orange uh, paints that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, and these two came from the 99 cent store. 
I don't remember I ever show them ever in a shopping finds video, but this one's a green one. This is a purple one. This one's kind of almost empty. I barely used any of it, but, but it's um, a really nice bright green color. So I really enjoyed it. Even the purple, I had some problems with it for a little bit, but um, after for a while when I used it, I was like, okay, never mind. I did it. But yeah, so with those colors, I painted these and I'm going to put this on the side. I also painted this uh, Happy Halloween sign that has some bats and a jack-o'-lantern on there as like the O. And I used the same colors, of course, except um, I think it was maybe the bottom two was this one instead of the the orange version for this Target acrylic paint. And but yeah, it was like I don't even remember when I bought this or like how I got this or something. I just remembered getting this at maybe at um maybe Hobby Lobby or I don't remember, but all I know is that I need to go back to go get more paints. But but yeah, I love how this came out. This was also hanging into like my living room area, dining room area. It's really nice. I, I love the paint so much. And then this one was a little bit messy, you guys. It really was because um I was trying to make it look like it was disheveled, it was dirty, and then it did turn out that way, but um but then I kind of messed it all up, but I'm going to show you guys. But like, I paint this uh, brown. I was going to tell you guys. I painted it with this brown. And this one definitely came from Hobby Lobby. Is Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint. And I think it's just burnt umber. There you go. So that would be you guys. I don't know if they're going to continue selling this paint or not. But I have heard they're discontinuing some brand. And they're replacing it with a uh, crafter's corner or whatever it was called. But I have seen it just the other time at Hobby Lobby, and I think I bought a couple of paints from there. So in a future video, which I hopefully I'll be able to do maybe a couple weeks from now, I'm going to do another shopping haul because I have so many things that I wanted to show you guys that I have gotten for Halloween slash fall or just in general. Like I have found clothes for myself and for my husband too, so that way maybe you guys can jump on the bandwagon of getting it. But yeah, but yeah, that's how it came out. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. And um, I still kept the tag on all, almost all of them, I think. Yeah, I did. I'll just show you guys the tag. But yeah, it says decor on it. And then there's the, um, the tag for it. But it did came out really cute. I really like it. So this one is also hanging on the um, above like my table or something in the dining room area. There's the tag for this one. And then there's the barcode for this one. And then um, I don't have the barcode for this one, sadly. I think it got lost as like what I was trying to color them in and then I've shown you guys in a previous shopping finds before where it says uh lazy susan from target I've painted it orange and I thought like the look of this would be perfect so this is going to be like a fall craft type of thing I think I'm just going to leave it as is because I wanted to do actually do draw the jack-o'-lanterns on there and stuff like that but it just no it just didn't want I didn't want it to do that. It's like just it's just perfect enough as it is for me painting orange. Of course there's some like you know slippage or there's some areas where yeah there's some orange paint on the sides, but I don't care. I like all it's gonna matter is I'm gonna see the thing on top, you know, so that's gonna be really pretty. Um what's next? Oh yeah. Other than just like uh painting just like stuff for Halloween and stuff, I did have some jack-o'-lanterns ready but like i don't know if i'm able to show it. it's like right behind you guys but all it is is like the wooden cutouts it has like really cute um jack-o'-lantern faces on it and then i painted them with um these same colors like each one um i i might actually upload a photo somewhere i'm gonna see if i can find it and i'll probably just link it down below because I think I uploaded it on my personal Facebook not that long ago and um and I have it hung up somewhere in this room and then then when I found it I was like oh yeah it is hanging right behind you guys so anyway um other than me painting some stuff just like that and, and it just took forever to dry off because usually I like to leave it like uh sometimes either a couple hours or up to 24 hours to paint it um this one took the longest but yeah Oh, and I just found these. That's funny. This was from the drink holders from that basket. So they're going to be used definitely. And I'm going to throw them in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, some ceramic stuff that I have been painting. 
and I'm still working on this one. This one's like a witch candle holder type of thing. I haven't painted this yet, which is like the bristles for the broom. I did want it to go with like a candy apple red for this one, but I felt like no. I wanted it where it could match the broom handle and all that, but it's like all like that. I remember at some point I was painting like the little, I don't know if you guys can see it, probably in this type of lighting, but there's like little stars and circles or something. I don't know. Um, it was supposed to be cut out like originally and even the background for like most of the the witch on here. But um, but I decided, you know, I'm just going to paint it over it. So what I used for the background for this one, let me see if I can find it, is SP231 Speckled the Blues from uh makeup uh stroke and coat and it like i i hope it comes out really pretty that's all i know and for the witch's outfit i used uh let me see where is it i think it's great jelly i think it is i just don't know where i put it that's really strange i thought i had the colors here like with me and i did but i guess not that was really weird. Oh, no, never mind. I found it. Sorry. But yeah, here's the great jelly from Stro Mako Stroke and Coat. Also for, for her a little outfit. It's really cute. Um, For the broom handle and then the little detail on the end, I used Cracker Jack Brown. And but yeah, you could tell like there's the broomstick and right here and then her shoes and her like her hair and the little buckle that's on her um, on her hat is a tuxedo also by stroke and coat they're all going to be by stroke and coat so that way i can just show you guys and then uh what else well i guess the background on this one i used uh limelight and i hope it comes out really good because i wanted to make it like look like a glow type of thing and um and then finally her face I combined two colors for sure. Yeah, I combined limelight and awkward. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that one, but I'm going to say awkward. Um, I combined it for her face and her hands because I thought maybe it'll somehow stand out that way, but I'm not sure. But I didn't paint the inside of it, but I painted the bottom of that speckled blue stuff. So hopefully it comes out really good. But, um, but yeah, I wanted to use um uh, what was it did i sit up here yeah i wanted to use this paint to do the little details on the stars and all that but it was taking forever and i'm like i don't have time for that um i really wanted to get it out of the way so that way i'll be able to um you know work on more uh ceramic stuff and so i worked on this one too which is like this bat uh candle holder <laughs> also and i thought this came out really cute and um, for the black, of course, I used a tuxedo, so that way you can see, like, the details all around there. Um, I combined two colors, and I think it's these two colors, because I wanted to make it look like a, kind of like an eerie type of blue once it's been fired and glazed. So I combined Caribbean Blue and Blue Yonder from Stroke & Co. Like, I'm going to show you guys the barcode and all that. And, yeah. I used both of these colors. I combined them both just to turn to this blue. So hopefully it comes out like a really pretty blue. And um, what else? And then the details for the, the background on this one. I used, I think, limelight. Yeah, I think I used limelight. And then, the, yeah, the details now for like these bats that are like on both sides of this candle holder is gray hair. And I showed this one before on a Shopping Finds video. So I was so happy when I got that. And I think that's it. Same thing. I didn't paint the inside, but I did paint the bottom. I used three coats of each. And hopefully it comes out really good. If it comes out kind of sloppy or messy, that's fine. Like, that, I'm not looking for perfection anyway. And then because I was trying... Because I did make a lot of this uh, color blue from... From that candle holder for the bats i had a whole lot left over from these two i just thought well what other colors should i paint and the only thing i could think of was like these uh butterfly eggs that i've had had for like forever so i'm just gonna pull them out right now sorry you guys um but i'll just show i'm gonna see if i can show them all four at once and if not i'm just gonna show it two at once but oh there we go but yeah i worked on these butterfly eggs and i thought that they were gonna come out cute so but it's like eggs. Uh, a very common egg usually is just brown or white. And I went with white. So I used um, 
cotton tail for and I put three coats of that for each egg and like all ceramics I put three coats each just in case if like it don't bleed that much and then so I painted like this one so this one is gray hair this one's tuxedo and then the combination of those blues and I did it for all of them for for all four eggs so it is really really cute I really like it and hopefully it comes out like the blue that I'm looking for hopefully a very vibrant either like a dark blue or a light blue I'm not sure hopefully it comes out really well there are some seepage on the sides too because I was painting that cotton tail but I just didn't really care but yeah so that is it that I'm going to show you guys um I don't know if there's anything else oh yeah like that witch one because I'm still painting the little bristles my mother-in-law found this in her stash just kind of like a little bit worn but uh she says go for glow warm on those bristles and i'm like i'm going to do that what uh hopefully once i'm done painting this i'm going to um put the three coats on there and i'm gonna show it off in a future video um and then also while i was cleaning i found these things too and i had no idea where they came from and so i found these bristolium two times paint and primer satin color blossom white so i don't remember what i use these for or i don't know my mother-in-law just gave this to me but i told my husband that we could uh, use this for his little fencing project that he wants to do i don't know we'll just see oops sorry and then and then i found this which is an acrylic sealer a clear acry acrylic sealer i don't remember where i bought this it could be from hobby lobby walmart or whatnot but i i bought it like a couple years ago um I don't even know yeah I, I was trying to figure out like if they're an expiration date because I'm, I'm used to seeing like these type of numbers on packages and especially on food but it's just showing you information like um you know it comes out matte or whatever but but it is matte so but yeah I I don't know I'm gonna use this on my bird bath that I have shown you guys before for um one of my crafting videos where I am going to spray paint the bottom of the bowl of it and then the top part of the vase of the bird bath and then hopefully combine them together seal it again so that way they can stick together because um we get a lot of rain here sometimes in texas uh, we did have sort of like a small drought like earlier this year but lately it's been like getting cold and then we're gonna be getting some storms soon so hopefully um that would be perfect so that way i can just like have it outside my yard and um, fill it up with water or somewhat so that way birds can actually go drink from it and then I was thinking about attaching something to the top part of the bowl where I want to do like a bird feeder so that way they can um, eat seeds off of it and drink water but we will see but anyway I have kept you guys long enough for this video and um, I'm glad to show you guys all the items that I have crafted I think there is uh, one more item I need to craft I don't know where it is, but I'm going to go find it anyway. But in a future video, hopefully I'll be able to show it. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys um, right then and there because I have rambled on already and I showed you so much already. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and I'll see you guys next week. Um, maybe next week will be either a playlist story or I might do another shopping haul because I have so much to show you in there. So who knows? Or if not, I'll just show you some more... Um, more stuff that I have found here where it would be like future projects and then maybe we'll do like some sort of like um like maybe like I'll explain it what I was going to be doing and then maybe we'll do it like right then and there who knows but we'll see so anyway bye everyone